So I think what I'm going to do today is go back to the race render and see if I can get any joy on that. Uh, so instead of pointing the instead of pointing the camera at the screen so you can see me getting these CSV files, I'm going to do a, a screen capture. Okay, so we've, we've got the log file from in this case the Innovate Motorsports, and then it comes out as a, a D32 file. And this for the Innovate Motorsports, you need to use a program called LogWorks uh, to open the file, which is free to download from the Innovate website. So when you open it, this is what you get. So what we need to do is just go to File and then go to, we just need to go to File and then go to Save As. And then at the bottom, we've got the option to, to not save it as a uh, thing. Sorry, mistake. We need to export it, sorry. Export log into current session as a CSV. So that's the, that's the log works. The process is going to be the same for whatever software you're using. Uh, your, your data logging software should have the option to save things as a CSV. So, so we've got all the data now that we need. And now it's just a matter of opening up the, the video editing software and putting it together with the video. So this is the uh, software that we're using for, for this video. It's a uh, race render. If you just type in uh, racerender.com, it will take you to this page. You can download uh, Race Render 3 here. It's, uh, it gives you a free trial, which gives you three minutes of uh, video footage without sound, unfortunately. So once you've got the Race Render downloaded, you open it and it presents you with this screen. So we'll just go for simple video in this case. Uh, you choose the video that you want. To layout, it takes you to this screen. So first of all, you need to get, this is where your CSV and your movies come together. So you click here, add files. Okay, so when, you, when you've got the files imported, uh, you can select um, from here, you've got display objects. So you can add the display or any display objects you want. So if you want a bar graph, for example, uh, looking at the video here, we've got a bar graph for the G um, forward and, and uh, back. So you just go to bar and then you've got your G line here. So you just select that and uh, that will put it in the video. So we've got it here. Um, you're going to maybe you'll probably need to set it up. So you just click on setup and then here you've got to choose uh, which file uh, you want to pull this data from. So this is going to have to come from the performance box file, which is here. And then you're going to select uh, which, which field on that file is, uh, contains the, the data that we want. So in this, in this particular case, is acceleration Y. So once you've got that in, uh, this is ready to rock and roll. Um, and, and basically you just follow the same procedure for all the gauges. The gauges working, you just go to synchronization and side by side and it'll give you the, the map of the, the GPS map and the video. So you just need to pick a point uh, on the map where you know the video was. So f in this example I was waiting at a set of traffic lights here on the corner. So I just press play until this red dot starts moving at the same time these lights turn green. So you just adjust it, adjust it forward and backwards. So that's that one. And then we've got two files. So we'll just stop this, we'll pause it. So that's the one input file. And then we've got the logworks file also. So it's just the same routine here. We'll go down to date the display type. So we'll show something that actually happened on this file. Uh, so it gives you engine RPM. And we just do the same process again. We go back to the traffic light. And then when the traffic light turns green, uh, we'll know that that's when the, the revs, uh, that's when the revs increased. We know this is it because we were stopped at the traffic light for a long time, so you've got the revs are flat for a, an extended period of time. So once you've got them synced up, you're ready to rock and roll. So on this, on this video, we're showing AFR here, throttle position, RPM, acceleration and deceleration, lateral G, and we've got the, um, the map of the route here. You just go to file, and then you just save the movie.
and that's how you do it basically. Um, I've probably made it look easier than what it is, but th that's the fu those are the fundamentals of um, how you get everything working together. Uh, this is a bit more complex than the first one. The first one I did uh, in uh, last week's video was just a G meter on it. So without further ado, uh, here's the video uh, that you can see here. So this is a uh very low traction today as you can see it's very wet it also helps illustrate the the, the rpm on the video And so that's the video, we've just gone round in a, in a big circle. So hopefully that's giving you the effect, uh, you get an idea of what's achievable. So that's the video, I hope it's given you um, um, some inspiration if you like, um, and shown you what's possible if you can get the CSV data from uh, your OBD uh, reader or your, um, your uh, mobile application. Um, this is what you can put together. Um, I'm not pretending that my video was particularly spectacular. Um, I could have probably could have used different gauges, but it was just a purely illustrative purposes to show you um, how it's done, you know, and hopefully, hopefully it did that. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like it um, and also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.